My name is Fuki Graves, and trying to figure out the origin of myself has always been a quest throughout most of my life. I'm still kind of on that quest currently. Um, the earliest I could trace it back to is being a little kid, um, sitting on my parents' lap. We have a big book of the world folded open. We have six little photos of six different ethnicities throughout the world. Um, and I was always sitting there kind of in awe, like, oh, look at all these cool shapes and faces and all this stuff. Always being drawn to Thailand with stretched necks. I have, like, all the rings and all that jazz. Um, and Africa with the big lip plates and big stretched ears. And I was always just, like, my hands were like, drawn to them. My parents would grab my hand, like, no, you don't look like that. You look like this. Pointing to a very, very, like, big nose wide-eyed Caucasian looking person and I'm like but but this is more interesting I'm just drawn to this um, and that's the closest I can figure out to what started this whole um, project I have uh, but one quote that I always have is do you before anything else and I've really had that as a mantra through my whole life I've always been myself I've always expressed myself even without if there's monstrous repercussions I'm going to do it regardless the one point that started it all off for me that's really tough to say. Um, I guess the biggest plunge that really like set the bar really high was getting heavy black face tattoo work from Zed um, and Nath from Absolution in New Zealand. Zed the head is from London. Um, and those two different experiences really kind of started pushing me into like, okay, this is now my lifestyle. We are 100% confident. This is who I am. This is who I'm going to become. Um, and just like that like one moment, like getting it done, sitting there getting tattoos, sweating, and like, okay, this is the step that's going to rule them all. Like, there is no turning back from this. Here we go. Can we do this? Great. We did the tattoo. It was fantastic. Looked in the mirror afterwards, like, awesome. This looks intense. Awesome, awesome. This is definitely what I'm envisioning. Some of the more unique modifications that I've done to myself currently, um, I have done some scarification. Um, I have a tongue tattoo or staining. Uh, yeah. All the blue goodness. Um, some implants on my temple, all this. And when I say I've done it myself, I haven't personally done it just by myself. I've had assistance through um, Teen Luna Cobra and how he's being godsend, Joel Tron, um, and all the, the list goes on and on of people that have really benefited in my modification journey. Um, let's see, some tattooed earlobes, a little bit less minor, but it's definitely more unique of an area. Stretch lobes, we scalpel them as well. Um, I had initially my nostrils pierced, then we stretch them up a little bit, then we punch them out, and we continue stretching. Um, my septum has been pure from like 14 gauge to stretch it all the way up to about, um, about a half inch. Um, currently I have downsized, I'm kind of mixing it up as always. Um, lots of tattoos all over my hands, chest, arms, legs. Um, it's kind of the standard in that aspect. Um, so that being said, the more extreme mods that I have done that are visible, as you can see, are going to be at my forehead here. Um, I have an eye that's branded in there and then scarred out afterwards. Instead, so if we're going to keep moving down my face, I have my eyelids tattooed. Eventually, my eyeballs will be tattooed, like the sclerus, the white parts. Um, I have a moth on my chest and a band logo on the side of my ribs. On the other side of my ribs, on my left side, we have some scarification done by Howie, Joltron, and B Slice all at the same time. So it's a three-man slice team going at me at once, and it was absolutely fantastic. Continuing kind of leftwards on my body, we have my black tattooed arm. We blacked it all out, and then we did some scarification up here on the upper side of it. This was done by Howie and Joltron while we are in Los Angeles. Absolutely great experience, and it was, it was surprisingly very, very easy. Probably one of the easiest things I've done so far in my entire project even including tattoos and everything it was really really low on that level and if we shift on over here to the right arm we're going to notice we have some skeletal hands here on my hands um, some knuckle tattoos that say Le Mort Noir when I put them together and it's a French French word for the black death I'm very infatuated with black and the death and the plague and the rats and all the cool stuff and um, continuing up my right arm, we have some gravestone artwork. This is one of the four original headpieces from the Cimetière des Innocents, which is the cemetery in France before the catacombs were built, which was just a giant mass grave, just a pile of bodies just hanging out, being gross and rotten together, and kind of spreading the contagion throughout the whole town, which made it the giant outbreak that it was. And that's what started them from building the underground catacombs. They realized that they needed to uh, store these bodies in a little bit different location instead of here out in the streets, just killing everybody through bacteriums and disease. Further up in my arm we have a Nosferatu piece which was the very first silent film that got me into the genre. It was mind-blowing watching it. Everyone's like, oh what, this is a movie without any sound or audio? This sounds ridiculous. I'm not gonna like this at all. We're no gore. Ugh. Put it on and my life changed. It was incredible. It let me create my own story almost. Like everybody that watches it is gonna have a little bit of a different response to it just because you get to use your creativity on top of watching something that's already creative. It's, it's great. I love silent film.
Um, it's really just be yourself and never stop losing faith that you are amazing, that you are the most incredible thing in existence and that you deserve to be happy. Do whatever that takes to make you happy. For some people, that's just making sure your nails and cuticle beds nice and clean and manicured. For some people, it's splitting your tongue in half and hanging from hooks and expressing life through like more out-of-body means. So just never stop being you, and it's really important to maintain that.